So in this video, we're going to explore how we can find the shortest distance from the point P with coordinates 2, 7, minus 1 to the plane pi uh, with the equation 2x plus 3y take away 6z plus 10 equals 0. Um, now there's a little bit of false advertising with, this, uh, with these next three videos, including this one. Um, that's because I'm not actually going to be using the vector product um, <laughs> with these ones. Uh, this one, this uh, formula doesn't actually use the vector product as we develop it, as you'll see. Um, however, it, it makes sense to group all these shortest distance videos together, okay? So you can see them all in one batch. Um, so how are we going to do this? So we've already seen a way of doing this previously, but this is to build up uh, a formula. The formula should be in um, the formula booklet for this, okay? So let's draw a diagram so we can visualize what's going on. So let's draw a plane. There we go. And here is the point P with coordinates 2, 7, minus 1. Now, the shortest distance from P to the plane will be a, that, if that was a vector, okay, uh, that would be parallel to the normal vector for the plane because it's got to make a right angle with the plane, so it's got to be perpendicular to it. So it can be parallel to the normal vector, which we know is 2, 3, minus 6. And this point that it, where it meets, I'm going to call that the point M. Okay? Now, I'm also going to choose a point that is on the plane. Um, so let's put it here, and this is going to be the point R. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a, vector, uh, well, a line going from R to P, like so. Okay? So this vector from R to P, um, that I could say has, um, I could say that P has a position vector lowercase p and r has position vector lowercase r okay so i could write it like that if i wanted to right so uh, i'm going to consider this angle here theta as theta and what we can say from this is that knowing as we do that this being a right angle triangle we can consider sokotoa and say to ourselves, okay, well, um, if I was looking at Sokotoa, I could say, well, I know PM and I know uh, RP. Uh, so I could say that cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent, so P to M, uh, so the length of that, divided by the length of RP. Okay, so that would mean if I multiplied up by RP that the length of PM uh, must be equal to RP, length of RP, times cosine of theta. Okay, so from that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce... Um, a unit vector in the direction of the normal vector. Okay, so I'm going to introduce it here. Now this might seem a little strange. I'm going to multiply this by the length of the normal vector to the plane. Now the reason why I can get, a, get away with that is because that is a unit vector and so has length 1. So I'm just multiplying the right hand side by 1 there. So nothing has changed, okay? But what you need to identify from this is that here you've effectively got mod a mod b cos theta, which we know is the scalar product, not the vector product, but the scalar product. So we can say that this is RP 
dotted with the normal vector, the unit normal vector. Or so, say, um, a unit vector in the direction of the normal vector. Okay? So we've got that. So, this is what we now have. Um, so what we can now introduce here is say, okay, well, if I've got that, I'm going to need some point R. So remember, we're, doing, we're not doing this generally here, but in order to get to this stage, I've kind of got to explain that part. So let's choose a point R. I need a point that's on the plane. So let R, um, I'm going to choose a point. So I'm going to choose X and Y to be zero. Okay, for example, okay, if I do that, then x and y are zero, so that means that z has to be 10 over 6, so that means it's 5 thirds. So I know that this is a point on the plane, let r have those coordinates, okay? So I can work out rp, okay? So rp is p minus r. So p is 2, 7 minus 1. Take away r, 0, 0, 5 thirds. 2 take away 0 is 2. 7 take away 0 is 7. Minus 1 take away 5 thirds is uh, minus 8 thirds, isn't it? So that's minus 8 thirds. I could write my threes. There we are. Okay. So that's RP. All right. So we have two, seven, minus eight thirds dotted with the unit normal vector here. Okay. So we know that N is two, three, minus six. Okay. Now this. If you remember, the normal vector, the unit normal vector would be the normal vector itself divided by its length. So what I need to do is need to work out what that is. So I need the length of n. So the length of that is 4 plus 9 plus 36, so square root 49, so 7. So that means that n hat here is 2 sevenths, 3 sevenths, minus 6 sevenths. So we have 2 times 2 sevenths, so 4 sevenths, plus 7 times 3 sevenths, so 3. And then we've got 8 thirds times by 6 sevenths, so that's 16 sevenths, which gets us 41 sevenths, which is 8, sorry, 5.86 to three significant figures. Okay, so a bit of a meandering kind of like look at where all these things are coming from. So the hope is that in the next video we can just do this generally and hopefully derive a nice formula uh, that will allow us to do this fairly easily.